Hello YouTube, this is uh, Loyal to Law once again. And in this video, I'm going to make a video response to DTG Taiho Jutsu's chair self-defense or martial arts techniques. Now, for doing solo training when you're sitting down or when you're on a chair, it's kind of, what do you call that, a huge disadvantage because you really need to have a partner in order to practice doing all of the martial arts techniques on a chair because a lot of people are um, thinking that just just because you know how to do kicks doesn't mean that you can just neglect all the martial arts when you're sitting down or when you're just using hands and stuff or when you're just using your upper body and so um, even though it's a huge disadvantage without a partner you can still do some training when you're alone and what you can do while sitting down is to do say upper body kata when you're doing karate or upper body martial arts forms when you're doing just the, martial, the upper body forms of any kind of martial arts say boxing, kickboxing, elbows, knees and stuff or not knees if you're just using your whole upper body so headbutt, some kind of grappling and stuff and what I'm going to show you is what I uh, kind of self-taught myself when I was um, studying Bagua Zong last two semesters ago. So it's a kind of a sensitivity, sensitivity drill. So what you're trying to do is to really um, make your forearms or some of, your, some of your parts of the upper body sensitive to touch. So you can do, if you're practicing karate, you can do this really letting your um, other arm slide to the other forearm of, let's say, right arm. So it's kind of like mimicking or simulating the touch of your opponent. Let's say when he strikes here, see, you can just block that, then you grab, then break, Grab your opponent's neck, lay me in your hand, opponent's hand, sl slam on the neck, and stuff. So this is a slow sensitivity sensitivity trick, especially when you're doing Bagua. In Bagua, you'll mostly likely see people doing this, then this, this cross arm on the side. Really letting the other forearm slide through the left. Bringing your knee up, down, sway, slow, slide, then here. You can play along with this sensitivity drill because there's a whole lot of things that you can do when you're just doing this. Say. If you have a more creative imagination, your opponent attacks, block with an elbow, you hold your opponent's fist, back fist, simultaneously do with an elbow, backhand, this, punch, block, push, go back, doing the sensitivity trick. As long as you maintain your contact with both of your hands and it's close to your body, simultaneously blocking and attacking, see, touch, block, strike, double block, side, then you, chest, then another on the chest. Then you can end. So, there you have it, and um, I hope that this video helped you even in the smallest way possible when you're doing your solo training and um, when you're doing terror martial arts. And um, for doing solo training, it's really not best to rely on doing solo training. It's just to help you to grow whenever you don't have a partner. But it's still best to have a partner and to practice in a dojo, even though you're having some of the ideas when you're watching martial arts videos like this. 
So thank you so much. Again, I hope that this video has helped you in a small way. And to DTG Taiho Jutsu, thank you so much. And I really enjoy really thinking about doing this kind of uh, video response to your chair videos. It was a lot of fun. Take care to all of you. God bless you all. Always train safe.